Paul from ProI Comms and Security, and this is a trial of the Cellfi Go repeater. Now, what you're seeing here is a spectrum analyzer of the Telstra frequencies, and we've got the power measurements in dBm, so we're getting about minus 40 dBm. We've got a little uh, 5 dB Omni which I've connected to the spectrum analyzer, and this is our first antenna. This uh, our trial antenna is just sitting in a basement car park, so they were actually looking at uh, they needed reception in the workshop which is just over there. And uh, we were using Cellfi RS218s and 250s before, um, whereas this is the Cellfi Go. So now we can actually get good reception in the workshop area. So here's our Cellfi repeaters. And the centre one is the Go repeater, which is the Telstra Go. And then we've got the Optus and the Vodafone one to the right. So we've actually run uh, some LL195 <clears throat> low loss uh, cable to this uh, 5 dBi Omni and as I walk around you'll see the signals so I'm just going to hold this so the signals will drop however it's about minus 70 there as I'm walking into the workshop there used to be no signal whatsoever in the workshop and now just holding the Omni as you can see we've got about minus 75 dBm and two Telstra carriers on 3G and I'm not even holding the, the Omni up correctly so that's very good signals on my Samsung Galaxy 5 I made phone calls and I was getting full 5 bars and on my mobile phone it was also showing about minus 75 to minus 80 dBm which is really good now I'm walking through the basement area, so this is the basement entrance, and this is of a uh, retirement village. There was no phone signal whatsoever previously, however for cell fire repeaters, sometimes they seem to have dropped. So with the cell fire go, we're basically running a hardwired solution. This is our second antenna to provide coverage. Now I'm just going to show you here. We've got about minus 40 dBm. It's probably a bit out of focus, just fix that up. There we go, two carriers, minus 40 dBm. There's the Omni antenna. And here's the lift area. So this basement is about 50 meters long from end to end. Now I'm going to walk to the other side of the basement. And as I'm walking, I'll show you the spectrum analyzer display. So minus 50, and I've actually got the antenna on a horizontal plane at the moment, just while I'm walking. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the basement. As we can see, going to hold this up. I'll get some measurements. So we're looking at minus 63 dBm at the end of the basement. And uh, on the cell phone, I made test calls. And as you can see, the length of the basement there, we've actually got good Telstra coverage right across the whole basement area. And that's 50 metres long by about 15, 20 metres wide. This is this section, but there's other sections around the basement. So this area here is about 50 by 10 and we've got good coverage. So as I'm walking again towards the repeater, I'm probably about 15, close to 15 metres away from the antenna now. And I'll just zoom in, clear. As you can see, minus 56, minus 55 dBm. So the phone signal to the antenna is really really good and here's the antenna there so we're just using an omnidirectional antenna what we use normally outside but in this situation because it's a basement we want it to get best coverage there we go. Zoom. clarify that there we go that's in focus almost there we go and that's just going via the cable tray in. and that's uh, our demonstration for the Sapphire go repeaters and just quickly just to see there we go, minus 32 dBm. Thank you for watching.